Yeah, I'd say hold off on all the virtual stuff until tomorrow because you're right. Today is going to be the warmest day of the week before this next storm hits. Next storm is going to hit tonight, so it's going to be our second snowstorm in less than a week. 30s and snow expected tomorrow, and there are some areas of really heavy snow. I'll show you some of the totals coming up in just a minute. But if you have to step out the door this morning, you're going to find a mix of sun and clouds with that sunrise. We're in the 20s and 30s this morning, so it's not nearly as cold, but it does feel like teens out there. A wind chill of 15 in Denver. Right now, close to freezing in Firestone, Boulder, you're right at 32. Highlands Ranch and Castle Rock in the upper 20s this morning. Now take a look at some of the alerts. And yesterday we knew that some of this was going to pop up within about 12, 18 hours, and you can see see the areas in blue under a winter storm watch. That's going to include spots like Loveland, Fort Collins, Greeley. You're just going to be on the edge of it, but then up and through the northern Front Range Mountains where you see the pink, those are winter storm warnings. So that's where the, the focus of some of the heaviest snow is going to be, our northern and central mountains, and then also north of Denver as you get from Fort Collins a little closer to Cheyenne. Here's a look at the timing of this. Now today we're going to stay dry, mostly sunny. We'll be in the 40s at about 1030 this morning, and then low to mid 50s for highs. You'll notice right around around 2 to about 3 o'clock where we start to see already a rain snow mix developing across the northern plains closer to again Fort Collins and Greeley and then north up into Wyoming. That's going to fill in and move a little closer to Denver by tonight. That's right around 930 on Futurecast and then early tomorrow morning we're waking up to a fresh layer of snow on the ground. Throughout the day on Thursday, those winds are going to be kicking up out of the north. Cold air expected, upper 20s to low 30s throughout the day, with that rain and snow continuing to push farther south as the day goes on. So that snow will continue through Thursday night and then start to clear up by early Friday morning. When you look at some of our totals, though, we're likely going to be at about three to six inches here in Denver. And I want to show you some of those numbers. Give me just one sec so I can pop that up. But we are looking at uh, some pretty impressive totals up and through the northern Front Range Mountains. In fact, right around spots uh, like Fort Collins, you could be at around four to eight inches of snow. We're going to see a little closer to Denver, the three to six inch mark. And then right around 12 to even near 15 popping up uh, near Estes Park and Allen's Park. So some heavier snow expected there. Here in town, temperatures only in the 30s tomorrow. We're going to rebound nicely, though, and we'll talk more about this nice warm up coming up in a bit. But expect 60s starting Sunday. So we will see a change, Jason, in this pattern, not nearly as cold or snowy into the first of next week.